All right, Taurus, let's get down to it. So this is the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like taking some of those great ideas and planting them and watching them grow. It does look like you have some decisions to make. You have made one solid decision, and that may be just to embrace change. Um, but there are some changes that... Um, you have been thinking about and now it's time to put them into action because if you don't put your two cents in so to speak your psychic two cents and spirit just changes it anyway um, so it's time for you to make some changes it does look like uh, possibly movement here so you may be moving from one home to another one state to another um, but it does look like that's something you've been contemplating for a while and now it's time to get the ball rolling the wheel of fortune is here as i said if you don't make those changes you know spirit god the supreme twinkie whatever you want to call it um, kind of steps in and makes those changes for us sometimes they're not um, the nicest change too if we're supposed to move you know your house may burn down something like that that's very extreme but if it's time for movement, spirit will make it happen. So I encourage you to take the reins and make that happen for yourself. The Wheel of Fortune pays you back tenfold. So if you do uh, make the effort, you will get paid back tenfold. If you do not make the effort, um, then it will be a little bit harder tenfold type of thing. So um, Wheel of Fortune, where she stops, nobody knows. Um, so it's time to uh, grab the bull by the horns and make those changes walk into the fear and make those changes so it does feel like money has been the reason that you've been holding off on things and sometimes money is a false well it's a false god shall we say it is a false idol and a false god and a lot of times just holding the vision of what you want to do creates that movement but please do not make money as an excuse not to make those movements and make those changes just hold the vision and the money will be there it's the trust and the faith in your own abilities that will get you where you need to go that this is kind of a false truth it is a false truth that you are um, waiting for this money or somebody's going to pay you so you can make some changes. Um, you may need to make those changes and then the money will come. But it does look like it's it's something that you have focused on a little bit too much. Um, don't let money be the excuse not to jump into your greatness or to make those changes, Taurus. So here is the Eight of Wands. I love the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is like divine energy shooting down from the heavens great ideas just shooting to you and you know it's time to have some of those that motion it is in the past position so it does look like um you're choosing to um, make those changes just take it one at a time don't be overwhelmed by all the things that you want to do just pick one and then move through it it does look like you are starting to do that um, so I just encourage you to continue to do that jump through your fear and make those changes don't make it about money don't make it about money and I'm feeling too that if you stay in the situation that there may be some challenge to your safety so I'm not really sure what that means, but it's coming through really, really clearly that there is a challenge to your safety if you continue to stay in a situation that is not benefiting you and that you're giving up your freedoms. So it could be work-related, it could be interpersonal-related, um, friendship-related. Uh, it, it, it is feeling more like a, a relationship space, but for many of you, I don't want to discount uh, those of you that um, are not in relationship and that are making those changes on a personal level in your workspace. So, um, but it does look like the changes have begun. Just continue to do so. Continue to pull up your big boy, big girl pants and walk through the fear. The fear will always be there, but it diminishes as we um, meet and master the challenges. Staying in fear just holds us in this kind of perpetual state of... Um, <sighs> Con contemplation and constipation so it's time to uh, take the first step into movement and move past your fear um, 
But I do think that a big change is coming for you. And the sooner that you take the reins, Taurus, and do it, um, the more you will be in control of those changes. I know you like to be in control, but if you uh, continue to ignore the obvious, those changes will be made for you. Strength is here. So yes, it is going to take strength. And yes, um, it's time to walk into your greatness and your autonomy is happening right now. Uh, the infinity sign is lighting up. So you are really on um, or looking at your path of things that you've been wanting to do for a very long time, but your fear stands in the way or circumstances stands in the way, or you give your strength and, and your power to someone else. So now it's time to call back all your energy, call back all your strength from whoever you gave it to and use it for yourself because it does look like you need your own strength to march through this change. That is very scary scary, but it will be changing either way. So Taurus, make those changes. Make that phone call. Pack that bag. Sign that paper. Whatever it is that to initiate that change, I encourage you to grab hold of your strength, which is very impressive. You guys are very strong, not only on a spiritual level, uh, on a physical level, you're very strong as well and an emotional level. Um, so incorporate all that and get busy, Taurus. Do what you need to do. I like to tell my children, wipe and flush. It's time to move. It's time to uh, make a commitment to this change and to yourself instead of giving all your energy, your money, your time to other people. It's time to give it to you. It is not selfish to think of yourself as first. It is your survival, my dear Taurus. You can gift all you want after you've taken care of yourself. So the sun is here. This is new beginnings. And this is a big shift. And it is something that you've been looking at for quite a while, really not knowing how to take that first step to make that um, change in your life. And it could be, you know, starting your own school. It could be opening up your own business. It can be finally marrying that partner that you have been playing house with for 20 years. But it's a big change coming and it will help complete you and your cycle. Um, and for many of you, it may be leaving a relationship that is really not benefiting you or the other person. So I encourage you to step into your greatness. The sun is right here. It's ripe. It's ripe for, for those changes. So um, put your fear down. Grab your big girl pants, big, big boy pants, and make those changes. Watch the difference when you pull back your energy for you. Watch the difference. Things start happening when you are focused on you and not allowing people to either deplete your energy, deplete your strength, or when you... Uh, you give it away. So I'm encouraging you to wipe and flush. Do your own thing first, and then you can give away. So uh, part of, of, of this change that's coming, and the basis of all this is doing some research. So if it's moving, starting a school, starting your business, um, starting anything, it does look like you will have to do a little research. It is the basis of all this, so it does look like you started doing it. Um, for some reason, I'm feeling something happening in a foreign land that you're very attracted to. So it may be a class that you go to a foreign land, you know, or um, taking a seminar or just getting the heck out of Dodge and getting a, a different view so you can bring in that creative part of you. But it does feel like travel is involved and it does look like lessons in a foreign land is what I'm feeling. It just keeps coming through lessons in a foreign land. So um, I know the money is a big aspect for you right now, but remember, if you focus on it, money is just a societal concept of barter. So um, don't let money stand in the way of your greatness. Just keep the vision and the money will come. But it does require some faith and it does require some effort and movement on your part. So take it out of your head and put it into the planet to manifest your wildest dreams. So the three of uh, uh, wands is here, and this kind of validates the foreign land thing too, looking into the future. It also threes, 
They require balance. They require mind, body, spirit balance. They also require a change in some way. They also require threes are like looking at things in your life, especially three of wands, looking at everything in your life and letting go of the things that really don't work for you but they become comfortable, become habitual, even though it may not be good for you. And that could be um, changing a personal habit like drugs or al alcohol. It could mean letting go of a habit that you do or just something that you, a ritual that you've done every day. Um, maybe leaving a job that no longer serves you, but just feels comfortable. So this to me is um, changing something that feels comfortable that doesn't really serve you anymore and not bringing it with you into the future. Whether it's an attitude, you know, whether it's uh, shifting from a negative attitude into a positive attitude, whether it's letting go of a job, a relationship, um, a habit, an addiction, but something no longer serves you. And it's time for you to grow out of that um, hab habit or grow out of that negative behavior that is no longer serving you and not bringing it into the future. So it does look like um, you have begun this journey. Um, you may slip back a little bit, you know, something that we've done for years and years. It doesn't disappear overnight. So be gentle with yourself as you change. But it does look like you are paring down the things, habits, behaviors, people, uh, people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And it's time to jump into your greatness. And it does look like you are taking into the future the things that really work. I do see a big question mark around this this uh, card. And when I ask spirit what that is, is that you really don't know what's going to happen in the future. So you're not sure of which direction. Pick a direction. Just pick any direction. If it doesn't work, you can go another route. Um, if you don't know where you're going, it really doesn't matter which road you take. So take a road of change and difference and march through that change. If it doesn't work out, you can turn around and pick a different road. But pick one. You know, doing nothing is a choice. Doing nothing is a choice. And if we do nothing long enough, spirit comes in and really railroads everything. So you must must make a choice. So now is the time and spirit is giving you this opportunity to make this choice. Um, so I encourage you to do so. Uh, the nine of swords is here. Nines are like right before tens. Tens are the completion of something. So it does look like you have been thinking about this change. You've been thinking about making this movement. It's very scary for you. It is disrupting your, your sleep pattern. It, it looks like it's disrupt, dis, no, disrupting your uh, digestion and it may be digest. Uh, disrupting your elimination system. So for many of you, it may be going to the bathroom too much, not going at all, not sleeping, sleeping too much, having scary dreams. Um, but that looks like that's something that's happening. And when you take a step, you know, into the change, call in your strength, this will lighten up a little bit. This will lighten up again. It also does feel like you're messing with your food, either too, eating too much, not eating enough, um, not eating at all. So it looks like the creature comforts are being um, kind of affected by the mood or the inability to do this change. So please do this change. Your whole outlook will get better. Um, your stomach will get better. <laughs> and your life will get better but it's time to put you in the front row. It's time to make you a pri priority, Taurus. You know, even when you're going down on a plane, the, the uh, stewards and stewardesses say, put that air mask on you first and then help those around you. So that's what I encourage you to do. Put that air mask on you first, make you a priority. It's time to make those changes and make you a priority. Ace of Pentacles is here. This seems to be a running theme for a lot of people. Aces are the God cards, the highest cards. They kind of um, were on the path of our, our karmic path in a positive way. And there's the gate of your change right there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train. It's a beautiful mountain and a beautiful change of view. So it does look like there may be a change in your living situation. 
You know, it could be moving down the block, changing a room, painting a room in your house, or moving from state to state, country to country. But there is a change that's coming up or needs to happen. Um, it needs to happen, this physical change um, and a different view of some kind. Doesn't necessarily mean selling a house, moving from one place to another, and it could mean just you know, updating the current house that you're in, updating your view, um, and, and change is in the air for you. Um, uh, but it does look like you have this idea. I'm, this is really hitting me upside the head, Taurus. You have this great idea that you're holding in your hand that's been there for years. It's time to take that great idea and to manifest it into the physical reality, into the physical plane. Uh, there's no time like the present. You know, the day does not wait for you, Taurus. So it's time to put one foot in front of the other and make those changes, no matter how scary they are, because what you are creating now will get scarier. The King of Wands here, um, that change may be related to um, someone. This feels like it's a person. Um, and this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, someone who is very stoic, maybe even a little stubborn, uh, could be a boss, could be a relative, could be a lover. Uh, but this feels like an Aries Leo Sagittarius can't even be someone that has a rising of a Leo Aries or Sagittarius. But this feels like that you've come to a loggerhead that you're kind of beating your head against the wall and that your opinions, you're kind of hitting each other over the head with opinions. Um, pull back from the judgments, allow them to be where they are, um, even if they don't allow you to be where you are and make those changes anyway. But it does look like the volatility is coming up. Um, I do feel like there may be a, um, a loggerhead. There may be something come to an explosive ending. Um, could be work, could be lover, could be home. So if you've had some discord with someone, see if you can sit down and smooth it out, but still make you a priority, not necessarily their demands. This feels like a very needy person. Even though they're in a king body, this could be uh, someone who has a lot of life experience. It usually means an exalted one. But this feels like a lot of life experience, a person with a lot of life experience, maybe not making such educated and higher exalted choices, but it does feel like someone that's really needy that makes spur of the moment decisions that affect you and that's not working anymore. So what is on the other side of this is the four of wands. So it looks like you've been really in the contemplation space for a, a long time. Should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? These are my choices. Well, it looks like something that's really obvious to you right here, right in your face. You're not paying attention to. It may be a temporary solution to a long-term problem, but it is a movement. It is a movement from this situation. So step back from the things that you've been really focusing on. It looks like there's almost too much focus on these three options and you're limiting yourself from other options. So open your mind a little bit farther, see what spirit brings you. And it's okay if you still have that big question mark from here. It's okay, but um, jumping into some kind of movement that betters you will start the ball rolling, Taurus. So make you a priority. All right, sweet Taurus, that is your reading for the month of June. Um, it's kind of a continuation of what has been happening for you the last couple of months, but it does look like it requires some movement now. Take it from your head, put it into uh, the physical manifestation. So I'm going to throw some angel cards. These were gifted to me. I kind of avoid them because the deck is so large, but... Um, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, two tens. Tens are completion. It's time to wipe and flush, Taurus. It's time to end the cycle of whatever you, you are in. Take a step into um, the new. Take a step into the new. So the ten of air, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. Expect things to get better now and recovering from an addiction. So change is there. 
change is there. It needs your attention. It needs your participation. Please jump on board of the change. Ten of Earth. You know, Earth is the physical things. It is the ending of something. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. So yeah, pulling back on the intricate little nitpicky stuff and looking at the big picture of life. Just really looking at your magic and focusing in on making the change for you.